Today we are going to discuss about the formation of bile pigments that is bilirubin and bilirubin how they form and how they are secreted or excreted out of the body so for this process that is the formation of bile pigments formation of bile pigments formation of bile pigments so what happened that we know that bile pigments are of two types and this bilirubin and other is bilirubin bilirubin and bilirubin bilirubin so as we know that they are the bilirubin and bilirubin are the components of RBCs whenever the RBC is broken down it gives bilirubin globulin and heme part for example RBCs they are broken down into bilirubin heme heme and iron that is what we call this So after this conversion of bilirubin and heme, the globule part also is tried from the hemoglobin. They are reused and again used for the synthesis of RBCs. So this bilirubin is converted, bilirubin is converted into bilirubin and this iron the heme factor is taken out by certain enzymes for example transferring they carry it or the excess amount of iron is stored in ferritin so they will go to ferritin and canola which is called is apoferritin Apophyllotin. Apophyllotin. So we may, sim we may simply say that RBC is broken down into bilirubin, and he infected the bilirubin is converted into bilirubin, and the iron part is <laughs> utilized for further processing and further synthesis of RBCs. So let, let us go through the main steps. For example, this is our blood circulation. And for example, this is our spleen. And this is our liver. And here in it, you will this time. And here I made your kidney.
it's your kidney suppose it's now it's look like a little bit look like kidney So as we know that the function of spleen is to store RBCs and to break down RBCs. Whenever the RBCs complete its life cycle, that is, it's approximately one about one forty days, one twenty days. After one twenty days, or maybe due to some physiological disorders, the RBCs broken down into the vessels intravascular. Or extravascular, or some outside of the vessels. For example, in spleen, in normal conditions, in spleen, it's broken down. So here, for example, your RBC is broken down into believed in and in and globulin parts. So globulin part is reutilized. So we focus only the bilirubin and bilirubin. This bilirubin is converted into bilirubin. Bilirubin. Once this conversion is occurred, carried out, the bilirubin starts circulating into the blood. It moves to the blood whenever it enter into the blood the blood circulate into the whole body and reach to the liver when it's this blood containing bilirubin reach to the blood reach to the liver the liver sense the presence of bilirubin when this liver sense the presence of bilirubin into the blood it starts secreting some specific type of proteins which called is bilirubin binding proteins they will bind with these proteins and carry it to the liver and liver yeah, another process which called as conjugation is carried out so for example this is our rbc cell is broken down into Bilirubin. This is bilirubin. When it's reached into the blood circulation, the liver sends and release some specific type of conjugating or specific receptors or binding proteins. So this is what we call the binding protein. When this binding protein reach into the blood circulation, it will bind with this bilirubin. And now it is carried to the liver. Now it is carried to the liver. In liver what happened? In hepatocyte cells, certain type of enzymes or molecules, for example, glucuronic acid, they will bind with the bilirubin. Here we may say that the bilirubin is unconjugated bilirubin. This is what we call unconjugated bilirubin. Un con you unconjugated bilirubin. <laughs> Once it reached to the liver, the hepatocytes convert them into conjugated bilirubin. For example, this is your hepatocyte. Here, this bilirubin is. This bilirubin 
is converted into conjugated form so here with the help of certain molecules called is enzymes called glucono glucuronic acid so it convert and it's form conjugation so it will conjugate it with the help of glucuronic acid glucuronic acid this glucuronic acid by binding the bilirubin now this bilirubin that we call is conjugated bilirubin so here we call is conjugated bilirubin conjugated after the conjugation it will add it to the bile and this bile then move to the duodenum as we discussed in our previous lectures here with bile this bilirubin move to the small intestine into the duodenum when it reach into the duodenum this is converted into certain other type of substances under the bacterial action so suppose this bilirubin bilirubin reached or here and this bilirubin now convert into urobilirubin euro billy rubin and this billy euro billy rubin is further convert into another substance known as euro billy cytochrome euro billy Stercobilin. Stercobilin. This conversion is carried out with the help of bacteria. Again, bacterial action. Bacterial action. Whenever it reach into the Duodenum it convert into urobilirubin and this urobilirubin is again converted into urobilin stero stercobilin. Ninety percent of this urobilin is converted into stercobilin. Approximately ninety percent. Ninety percent of urobilin converted into urobilin. Stercobilin and the rest of the 10% of urobilin, urobilirubin is again circulate towards the liver. Here it again go to the liver. To the liver. And here the urobilirubin is sent to the kidney. Urobilin bilirubin. This urobilirubin is then shifted to the kidney. Here what happened in kidney? Through the urine they are excreted out of the body Suppose this urobilirubin is reached into the kidney. Urobilirubin. 
this euro bin rubin is then shift it out of the body throw urine you go out of the body and this euro bin stercobilin is yellowish color so it is uh, excreted out of the body with the feces and the color of feces is mainly due to the urobilin stercobilin this uh, urobilin stercobilin uh, gives the feces a uh, yellow color so let's uh, go a quick review for it after 120 days normally the rbc is broken down into bilirubin bilirubin first and this bilirubin is converted into bilirubin when this bilirubin uh, reaches to the blood circulation then this circulation this blood reaches to the liver liver uh, start synthesizing the uh, bilirubin binding proteins bilirubin binding proteins these bilirubin binding proteins bind with the bilirubin here it is called as unconjugated bilirubin after the binding of this bilirubin this uh, certain uh, protein carried this unconjugated protein to the liver once it reached into the liver it binds with glucuronic acid and this unconjugated by uh, bilirubin is converted into conjugated bilirubin and after the conjugation of this bilirubin this bilirubin uh, get invert or inserted into the bile and this with the help of bile this bilirubin reaches to the small intestine duodenum and here duodenum under the certain action of bacteria converted into urobilirubin and this urobilirubin is converted into urobilin stercobilin 90 percent of urobilirubin is converted into urobilin stercobilin and 10 percent is uh, re sent to the liver and once it uh, reach into the liver it again sent to the kidney and in kidney it's incorporated into the urine and through urine it's get out of the body so two ways it is one in the form of ster uh, urobilin stercobilin and another in the form of urobilirubin the uh, bilirubin is uh, secreted out of the body so hold this thing about the bile pigments